I'm making a carving ham with a bone in from a roll I've previously made using the same method as we've just used for beef, stacking graduating colours. A rough idea of the mixes in your leaflet. You can see that I've made this one in approximately three sections with a white bit in the middle where the bone's going to go. The idea is to give more life to your meat and this miniature carving ham looks so much more lifelike than the rather flat ones you often get. Pre-cooking the elements of Fimo doesn't affect the material significantly so I'm pre-cooking these little bones to give them a bit of rigidity the rigidity I need to work with them later. I'm forming this little ball joint end of the bone as a blob with a sort of point at one end. And this is the centre of the other smaller bones, sort of a marrow bone. It's the same red meat colour. I'm going to wrap it to form a tube. And then I can ro roll this tube out quite fine. I think they're called the fibula and the tibula. I'm not sure. They're sort of the, the two bones in the lower part of the leg. So you need two little bones together. So cut two pieces off. and put them together in pairs, one slightly smaller than the other. I'm going to cut them off to form a slight point at the end so that it'll stick easily into the ham later. and then they cook. And uh, here are two I've made earlier. Now what I'm going to do is form the narrow end of the joint by gently manipulating the material. I just have to roll it a bit because I made this a few days ago. I'm softening it and just persuading it a little bit to narrow at the end. You may need to keep this warm for a little if you haven't only just made it or if your yours is a cold house. Mine certainly is. I'm just nipping this end to persuade it to narrow. and uh, pushing this fat over it. Now I'll just trim this end and bring the white right in together so that it looks as if the fat covers the whole of the meat. There. And I'm putting a little bend in and cutting it at a slight angle so that when you display it you can see the whole of the ham.
I'm just poking this little ball joint bone and pushing it right in far enough so it just shows up it's a bit further it's about right and pushing the double bone in the in the other end and remember to keep this slight kink sideways kink to it just slight I'm using some more of this white fat colour with a scalpel blade and I'm just going to fill in this slight dint that pushing the bone in has made. And that's it. And I'm just going to nick the bone so that the uh, scraps of Fimo will cling to it. And um, putting a little bit of pink on there so that it looks as if ragged scraps of meat are still cling clinging to that bone just like it does in a del delicatessen and the last thing we need to do is to just cut one slice the first slice of the meat so that it looks as if someone's right in the middle of carving it and has maybe just disappeared to answer the phone And of course to display with that you need a few slices that have just been cut off. Maybe three should do. And get rid of the tatty bits, just tidy it up. There. That looks rather nice. Uh, just one more thing. Um, butchers do trim back the fat on the bone and the pink shows through a little bit. So we'll just do that. Just gives it a little bit more of a realistic look. Mm. 